So in this video, I'm going to show you how to import a Cinti Studios character model into Blender. Uh, so here we are in our blank Blender file. I've deleted the, uh, the cube and the light and the camera. And we're going to go up to File, and we're going to choose Import. And we're going to go down to FBX. Then we'll navigate to the Characters folder and choose the character we want to import. I'm going to choose this Pirate Captain here. Uh, and we want to make sure over on the right side that the custom normals is not checked. And then under armature, we want to make sure you have the force connect children and automatic bone orientation both checked. And then when we import, it's going to make sure that the armature is aligned correctly to the model. Uh, if you don't have those checked, then your bones could be facing very strange directions and might make your rig not usable. So you want to make sure both of those are checked. Now you can see here that uh, my guy is completely pink, which means his texture is missing. To fix that, I want to go down here and expand this a little bit and change over from the timeline to the shader editor and make sure that we have our model selected. And then we just need to point this to the correct image texture. So hit the open button and then you're going to navigate back to your characters folder, go one level up and there should be the textures folder. So we're going to go in there, and you'll have a whole bunch of textures that are all just variations on the, uh, the same thing. So these are just different color schemes. So we're just going to go with the 1A. And we hit open, and boom, there's our guy, completely textured, ready to go. Uh, when you try that, uh, sometimes some of the characters are saved in a different format, and I have another video on how to convert from the ASCII to the binary format. If you get that error, check it out. 